All right, afternoon, guys. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. We're making a cake, but we're making a cake. I still want to have a drink. drink. Why not? It's small. Look at it. It's, it's, it's because not kids. A lot. That's why. It's not because a lot. I had. You had me. Homeschooling <laughs> today. Cheers to you. Yes. Because you're doing Cheers. a great job. Homeschooling. You're doing a great job. You should have been a teacher. No, I should not have. If I was a teacher, I would be in jail. I think so. Definitely, hands down. I could not do what they do they would all every day. Own trucking companies. <laughs> For the people that don't know what that means, so I'll let you figure it out. All right. Hi, mom. She's on. Uh oh. Let's let a couple of people join if they want to. All right, cool. To learn this wonderful recipe. Yes. Yeah, so, so this recipe is my, uh, my mother. So thank you, mom. Um, something she's been making for quite a while. All right. And um, we're gonna let a couple people join, and then we'll, we'll get started. Fairly simple recipe, right? You know, just dump it in the pan, and mix it all up, and put it in the oven, and bang, bang, bang. Fairly simple, yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's show them the ingredients. Okay. All right. Coming over. All right. Come on down. Come on down. Let's see what we got here. Flour, brown sugar, unsalted butter. Cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, vanilla extract, uh, baking soda, kosher salt, don't mind the container, I just keep my salt in, in this container, and then we have some applesauce, and then you're measuring spoons. And we'll post the recipe yeah, afterwards. afterwards. Yep, yep, yep. We'll walk afterwards. you through how to do this. Yep, so this cake, this is going to have, we're going to actually make the cake, and then there's a separate crumble that goes on top, right? Okay. So, which has a, a, a good amount of spice inside of it with the allspice and uh, everything. And ho hold on, I don't know why. What? Oh, our little sound. Yeah. Little music in the background. Um, so, yeah, so again, you cook it for about, you know, roughly around 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. And um, once, we, once we put, once we make the actual cake batter. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Make sure you have a nice nine inch greased pan. Okay? okay, very important to grease your pan um, a good amount, right? You know, you can do butter, you can use uh, spray, um, you know, as long as that pan is greased, you should have no worries, you know, cutting it out or, you know, flopping it out. Now, you can always do a round. I had a question earlier if I could use a round or if I had to use a square. Doesn't really matter. You can use a round or a square. You can even do individuals if you like. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right? The cooking time, time may vary, though. All right? So first thing what we always do is we're just gonna actually preheat our oven. I'm gonna take my, my bread out. All right, so what I've done for speed purposes, we're actually gonna melt the butter. So first thing to do is always put your oven on 350. Take your stick of butter. Listen. A whole stick of butter? A whole stick of butter. Nice. Why not, right? That's why this tastes good. Listen, butter makes everything better, okay? So, Who are we um, dedicating this one to? To Grandma Susan? Grandma Susan. This is her recipe? It's her recipe. All right. Is it tweaked a little or no, doing the is, exact is, same this thing? Is, this is verbatim. No need to tweak it. This is a good one. This is a good one. So just put your butter in just to melt it. So 30 seconds. All right. Um, and then we have, I'm going to go over here and I have my, my ingredients already pre-measured. This is... Quite boring. Yep. All the ingredients there. Strange, strange, strange. Wow. Look at that. You're set up. It's like a TV show. Yeah. Right? Okay. You are getting the hang of this. So the bit. only thing that we have on here, um, you have your cinnamon. So we have two we have two teaspoons of cinnamon. We have our uh, our uh, allspice. Excuse me, can't even speak. So we have a, a teaspoon of allspice. Then we have our baking soda teaspoon, and then we have a half a teaspoon of salt, right? Okay. So the allspice is going to add that spiciness. You get notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, a little black pepper, um, which is going to give us some really, really nice notes in this uh, in this applesauce cake, right? So look at that. Butter's melted, okay? So now to that, we're going to take our vanilla, and we're going to mix that in a little bit. So you have one and a half cups of flour. We need to sift, take everything. Dump it right in here. Okay. What is that? Brown sugar. 
<clears throat> light brown sugar, okay? Okay. Get yourself a whisk. We'll post all the ingredients after on this video. Okay. So let's do this. Once we share it. So just get your dry ingredients. Just mix mix this up because when you put in your wet ingredients, you just want to make sure that everything is okay. And this would be good in the morning. Hi Rosanna. This could be good at nighttime. You know, you throw a little dollop of ice cream on this when it's nice and warm. Okay. Yeah, this is a good really, cake, really, guys. Really, really a versatile cake, right? You know, you can have it in the morning. My mother. The kids love this. Yeah, yeah. This is this is good. And you know, in the fall, if you wanted to, you could use some. You know, get some fresh apples, and you could make your own applesauce, mm. right? Um, so for this, we're gonna take our applesauce. So that was one cup of applesauce, melted butter. Okay. Just make sure it's completely melted in there. What is it, wine? You're shaking it like it's wine. No, I just want to make sure that it's all. So put that mm. in there. <sighs> Yummy. Belly's liking this, right? Yes. This is going to be good and tonight. And then you have your one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Boom. Told you. Simple, right? Okay. If you want to, you <laughs> can spice this up. You can throw in some of your finest you know, alcohol. You can throw a little bourbon in there. So mm. my mother, my mother's probably going, I never did that. So, <laughs> all right. So what we'll do is as we mix this up, we'll just get this mixed up. Don't over mix it. Just make sure it's all incorporated. You can use a hand mixer if you'd like, but this is, like I said, look, at, look how easily it's mixed up. All right. Okay. Make sure everything is off your whisk. I'll show you the consistency in a second. Okay, put this back. Then you have your egg. So for your egg, just take your egg, put it in the, in the little butter container. And just with your whisk, you can just mix this up. Okay. See, let's mix it up in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, add in your egg. That's just to incorporate it better. That's it. That's yeah. why you do it beforehand. Yeah, that's it. You just, <clears throat> yeah, Rosanna, I make cake from the box too. Well, you'll find out, right? You know, by the time you you measured everything out, this is just like a cake in a box. So it is very right? easy. I mean, it, it looks very were, easy. By the time so. you open up the box, by the time you weigh out the oil, the milk, the egg, whatever goes in it, this is you just as easy. Your own flour. You know, yeah. All right, this is ready to go. Let's put that over there. I never really Wash, have to forget. cook oh, any yeah. cakes though. Things are already measured out again. Yeah, amazing. Look at that. So, this is the chrome. So this is where you can either use a pastry cutter, right? You know, to actually cut inside of it, right? Which is just easier when you're making crumbles, biscuits and things like that. Or you can use your hands, okay? Okay. Um, we have again, brown sugar, right? Then we have <laughs> half a stick of butter. Another half Why not? stick of butter, wow. Flour. This is a healthy cinnamon, one. Nutmeg. <laughs> right? But listen, if you if you put things if you if you really if you put it in, into like perspective, right? Are you gonna have the whole thing? Mm. Some would. <laughs> right? Because it is pretty freaking good, <laughs> it is right? Good. But you know, even if you were to Maybe have Maybe like for breakfast yeah, and then it, for well, like dessert. It. Now this is motivation to have it for breakfast, right? Because then you have all day to burn off the calories. Right. <clears throat> yep, right? definitely. But why not? Now, your butter, room temperature, okay? Drop your butter in there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put on a glove. Okay. I don't have to, I'm gonna put a glove on. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna get in there. Did you like stuff. soften that butter at all, no? Room temperature. Oh, room temperature. This is room temperature. Okay. Okay, so you what don't, I'd like to do. It wouldn't work if you melted it. No, because you, you remember the butter you want it to when it's room temperature, you want it to make the crumb, right? Okay. So you're gonna mix everything up. So see, so back to Rosanna's question, right? This cake's very easy. Rosanna, it was Rosanna's question, my cousin. Right? You literally just put it in there and you just mix it up. All the ingredients. Yeah. Simple. Everything's done. Now this kind of goes back to like the coffee cake, right? You can have the crumbs as large or small, whatever you like. Okay? Okay, so we're just gonna mix this up. Just make sure that butter, see what I'm doing with the butter with your hands? 
you just want to make sure that the butter is completely taking all of the dry ingredients, right? Mixing it all up good. Doing, so just, okay, you might have carpal tunnel when you're all done, but you'll have a nice, mm. you have a nice, nice uh, strudel. Okay. So then how this, long the does this take is, to bake? Sorry, I'm sorry. So this is 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Um, you know, if you're really watching calories, yeah. the topping is optional. You don't have to put a topping on. Right. But that makes it, right? Yeah. So if you're going to do it, do it the right way. Yeah. Okay. Do it up. Just do it up. Bulking up for summer. Bulking up for the summertime. <laughs> I haven't put any weight on, so I don't know what the hell people are talking about. Yeah, announce that. Make people love you so much that it's just so hard for you to gain weight. That's your genes. Hopefully, Sophia gets that one right. from you. She looks right. like she is. So, so, she eats like a mad person. Non-stop, right? Okay. Let's get all this off. You can use a whisk. You can use a fork. You can use really whatever you like. I just like to get in there. No, it's probably easier to use your hands. You and can I like really to use mold my hands, just it, kind of like, you know, break it up. For a fact, I'm breaking up the butter. I'm getting it right. So you see, see how it's forming that nice. Mm-hmm. But again, just very important. Make sure that you incorporate the butter. Make sure that you get the butter with the dry ingredients mixed in well. Mixed in well. Mm-hmm. Or else, you know, you're just going to be taking a bite of your delicious cake and you're going to get a mouthful of butter. Mm. Okay. And that should be good. I'm liking what that's looking like. Good. Okay. Remember to give us suggestions, guys. What do you guys want to see? All right. So, crumble is done. I'm going to take my... I've already greased my pan. I'm gonna take my cake, cake batter. Right inside. Make sure you get everything. No waste. No waste. Mm. Okay. You know, Damon, Mother's Day is coming up. You'll have to figure out something, uh, something, something nice special to make. Something sweet, <clears throat> right? Yeah, that'd All be right. nice. Surprise um, me with a little dessert. Why not? Now, when you're doing cakes, just lay your kitchen towel down. This down. Make sure it goes. Can you see that? I can. I'm watching it. Everything done. Okay, now this is where you sprinkle this on. Very similar to like the crumb cake, right? Yeah. So you could do it large, you could do it small. I like to have little bits of the crumble. I like large. And then you, uh, well, I wasn't finished. <laughs> so I like to have little bits of the crumble and then I like to have a couple of large ones. A couple right? big chunks, good. See? You're reading my mind, babe. Mm hmm. We are on the same page. Always. Okay. It's looking good, right? Yes. I can't wait to eat it later. It's fairly easy, too. Dessert. Again. Huh. I went into Stop and Shop the other day, and the freezer of ice cream... Oh, Nancy Pelosi's got it all. Yes. Right. It was empty. Like, empty. It was ridiculous. I couldn't believe yeah. it. So that's what everybody's well, doing. They're home eating do? ice cream. Summertime ice cream. <laughs> we'll make it. We'll get. We'll get. We'll make our own ice cream, right? Definitely. It's hard to make it now. It's just cold. It's just cold and miserable yeah. out. Hopefully, in the next week or so, it gets nice. So, all right. Looks good. That. It's getting there. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Almost there. It doesn't look very appealing. When you look at it, it's all just brown. It's all but, brown, right? But it really tastes good. And it turns like a different color when you bake it, right? It's like almost mm. like an orangey. When, when your mom does it, it's... Orangey? When it's done. Really? Yeah. Not sure. 
I mean, not like I mean, or, not good. like carrot cake orange, but yeah, it doesn't I mean, look know, like it, that it, color. It does have a lot of the dark components in it. You have the applesauce in it. You have the brown sugar. Yeah. You have a lot of the dark components in it, right? So, um, here we go. Ready? Look at that. Done. That's Put it. it yeah. See, this just like a box cake. Not bad. Yeah. Box cake. I actually might be able to do this. All right. We're going to set our timer for 35 minutes. Okay. Check it. Toothpick. If the toothpick comes out dry, you know you're rock and rolling. You're Take good it to out, go. Set it on your uh, stove or set it down. Let it warm up. I think we should make a couple of Sweet. these and make some deliveries. Absolutely. Let because it cool down. this is be a nice, nice right? treat for those people out there that are working hard. Absolutely. Keeping us uh, going have during nice, this have time. A nice coffee, an espresso, <clears throat> cappuccino, yep. something with it. They deserve a, a little. Why not a beer? A beer. Why not? Why not? Cheers. Why not? Um, All right, guys. So, thank you. I uh, hope everybody enjoys uh, the recipe. Yep. Like Once said, again, everybody, thank you, you for out there working and let us know. Yeah. Um, thank you for everybody that's putting their lives on the line and keeping us all safe. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this will be over soon and we can all get back to. Yep. But message us if you guys want to see Damon do something you haven't done before, something you want to see his twist on. Send um, me or him <clears throat> a message on Facebook and we'll do it. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks so much Enjoy. for watching. Have a, have a great night. Thank you. Bye. Bye.